Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the new Kirby's Return to Dreamland game on Yuzu Emulator. So first of all, obviously you go to yuzuemu.org and press this download button. Once you've downloaded and installed Yuzu, make sure to run it. If you get an error saying VC Redist or Visual C++, just Google that, install the latest 64-bit version and then run Yuzu again. Now I'm going to be using Yuzu Early Access, but it is the exact same process with regular Yuzu. This first error is normal, press OK, and here you can press yes or no. I'm going to click no for now. To fix the error we just had, we're going to go to File and open the Yuzu folder. In here you'll have some folders, but you want to look for the folder that says keys. Now this is the folder where you're going to paste your prod and title keys file. After this you can click out of this window. And now we're going to double click to add a new folder to our games list. So just double click. And in here just select your games folder. In my case I call it Yuzu Games. Make sure you put this folder in a place where Yuzu can actually read it. So not in your OneDrive or directly into your C drive. Now press select folder and as you can see it is added. I do recommend right clicking this and making sure the scan subfolders is checked. So double check it. But as you can tell our games are not showing up because you have to close out of Yuzu and open it again. So after opening Yuzu again, as you can tell, all my games are in here. But before you get too excited, I'm going to show you the best settings for FPS and stability. So stay tuned for just a little longer. All right, so we're going to emulation and configure. I'm not going to enable this right now, but if your game is working and you still have some performance issues, you can try the extended memory layout. But again, don't try that right now. Under system settings, you don't need to change anything. If you have multiple people on the same PC, you can check out profiles and make a new one for every person. I have made an online Yuzu guide, so I'm not going to show you this right now. So basically now we go to CPU settings and for accuracy, keep it on auto. Under graphic settings, make sure your API is Vulkan because it has the best performance. Now if you have Intel HD, first of all, unless it's like the latest of the latest, you probably don't want to go into switch emulation yet. If you want to try it anyway, I do recommend OpenGL for Intel HD users. Now for everybody else, so NVIDIA GPU people, AMD GPU people, use Vulkan and make sure your graphics card is selected. Now make sure these three are checked. And basically keep all the settings the same. Make sure this says bilinear or nearest neighbor. Don't choose any of the other ones. Trust me. Don't upscale yet. But once you have stable FPS and gameplay, feel free to put it on 2x, not 1.5. Because as it says here, it's still experimental. To be sure, I would set this to 0 because this is FSR, which is the AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution. Just put it on 0 just in case. Now for the advanced graphic settings in here, make sure the accuracy is on high. If you have FPS troubles, you can try putting this on normal and it should give you better FPS. Keep all of these settings the same, but if you have FPS issues but your game is stable, try these hacks one by one so you know if it crashes, you know which setting to turn back. These could all boost your FPS, but again, first try it without these. Anisotropic filtering, keep this on automatic. Now audio, in here you can change your output device. I wouldn't change the output engine and you can change your input device to the microphone that you are using. You can also change the volume but you can also do that while you're in Yuzu playing the game. Now another important thing is controls, so make sure this box is green. If it's not, the controller is not connected to the virtual switch. Now I always like to play Pro Controller and in here I'm going to select my Xbox One controller and as you can see it's already set up but I always like to change the face buttons to the ones on my Xbox controller. But basically this is all set. If you want to disable vibration it's on the bottom. This controller doesn't have motion so it doesn't matter too much. Make sure console mode is in docked for the best resolution. You can try handheld for maybe better FPS. Not sure. Sometimes it helps. And yeah, once you've set this up, put a name here and press OK. This is also where you can set up multiple players, but that is not for now. Now press OK on the bottom 
And that's basically it. You're ready to run the game. So yeah, that is all. Please make sure to hit like, subscribe and comment down below to let others know that this works because again, YouTube doesn't have dislikes anymore. I would really appreciate it. Also join my Discord server if you have any issues or if you just want to chat with me and others. I am actually live streaming this game on my YouTube and on my Twitch. So make sure to follow my Twitch as well. And uh, yeah, that's it. Peace out guys. Peace.